Today I'm at XYZ Machine Tools uh, at their headquarters in Tiverton in Devon. I've come to look at this machine behind us, which is the RLX 780. Four years ago I looked at the XL 780, um, and there's a few differences with this machine. The main thing being this control, this ProtoTrack control, which they've now introduced to this model. Let's open the machine though and talk about some of the hardware first. I want to walk you through some of the, um, the details of the machine. Firstly, this, this cut that they've actually been performed, and I'm going to try and get this on screen as well, is an 8mm uh, off diameter cut uh, running at a 0.32 uh, feed rate. Uh, and they've, I've been told that actually they could up that by 25% if they were using coolant, but they've been cutting dry for our uh, benefit today. Some of the niceties of this machine, look at this. Things like this stand out to me, a loading area. How convenient is that to be able to stand here, open that to get to the chuck, uh, whether it be getting involved in the loading of a part, but also maybe uh, the, the measurement aspect of it. There's also a function on here called the jogging function. Now you imagine having a three meter turning length and a shaft on there, turning it would be almost impossible in this chuck. Now on here you can actually have that jogging function where you put it into a cycle and you can jog the chuck round, uh, which is an important feature as well. You've got a four, uh, or sorry, you've got three, or the ability to have three tools on that tool post. You've got a tailstock here, which uh, is a drag and drop and has an air purge on it to help you move the tail stock as you would imagine that's important on a machine like this uh, we've got a two range gearbox on the machine 19 kilowatts of power in a continuous mode which uh, some machine tool manufacturers state the power of their spindles you know for 20 percent of the uh, of the cycle but that is for 100 percent of the time uh, you can use the machine using the the hand wheels here so you can use it like a conventional machine and of course, for your swarf uh, extraction here, we've got two trays on this one here. Uh, the swarf will fall into those, but you can also have swarf conveyors which will feed out the back of the machine to evacuate that swarf. Nine ton machine, this nine ton machine, 780 mil swing, three meter turning diameter, 160 mil bore. Uh, and with this RLX control, which I'm now going to talk to Jonathan Walton about because he's going to show us how easy it is to use. So Jonathan, if you'd like to step this way, um, I'm told, reliably told that this is one of the reasons this machine is going to be a massive seller. Uh, tell us or, or sh show us briefly a cycle that you program in here. Okay, so the main advantage of approach track is over, over traditional CNC, Siemens, Fanuc, things like that is, is the ability to use it as a traditional manual machine. Um, in, this, in, this, in this page here, um, it is essentially a manual lathe with a few extra bells and whistles, but fundamentally, if you're coming from a manual, you can use this machine straight away just by using this page here. Obviously you want to use programs then. It's as simple as clicking program. Okay, it'll then ask for a program name. And then go to the beginning of the program. We then have the ability to all our cycles along the bottom. Okay, and we have a look screen. So as we're building a program, it is drawing the part for us. If you make a mistake, it's very quick and easy to tell what you've done wrong. So let's just do a quick cycle, okay? You want to rough down a bit of bar. So let's say we want to do a 50 millimeter shaft and we're going to start at Z0. We're going to take a three mil depth of cut. We're going to feed in the Z axis. Surface speed, so the, feed, the, the speed you want the spindle to run at. So that's the 220 meters a minute. And we're going to go at 0.3 per revolution. And we're going to use tool one for roughing. It'll then ask for a finish cut. We want 0.4. And we're going to use the same surface speed for finishing with a slightly slower feed rate to get us a nice surface finish. And we couldn't use a separate finishing tool if you so wish. Okay, and then pause before finish cut. We're okay with no. So there's our previous event. And now it's a case of just drawing the part. Cycle turn, we're gonna stay at 50 diameter, and we're gonna go minus 200 long. Okay, and no chamfers. Okay, and then all we need to do is we turn out to our diameter, our bar size diameter. So let's say it was 75 bar, and our Z had still been minus 200. And again, no chamfer. This gives it our L. So that is our component. We then use cycle position just to define the material. So we said 75 bar, and the front of the job is zero. That is added our material in. We just press end cycle, cycle not closed. It will automatically close the cycle for us, so it's a continuous loop you have roughed down some 75 mil bar down to 50 millimeters. You can then check this by using the setup feature. Okay, we'll assign a tool to it. And we can do tool path. 
that is our component with a four minutes run time. So it's giving you your run time as well. Yes. You've done, and, and if there's other cycles like you, you we, we looked at over grooving, boring, yeah. all of those, all the same, yeah. similar programming in the same way. Yes, but all the similar. It's a, it's a question and answer. So you answer the questions, it creates the, the cycles for you. And because it's drawing the component as you're doing it, you can see straight away what you are doing. Very, very powerful and very, very intuitive. That's a very quick look at, thank you very much, Jonathan, and not just the hardware here uh, of this machine, this RLX782, but also how easy it is to program. Um, contact XYZ Machine Tools at their website, xyzmachinetools.com, to find out more about this machine.